so much. This morning kicked off Stampede Houston's Dance for a Cure to benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Houston Life reporter Stephanie Gary was out there earlier today as the 40-hour dance marathon got underway. I'm at Stampede Houston, guys, where we're ready to dance our boots off for up to 40 hours. Now we're here to try and break a Guinness Book of World Record. Um, now, look, we've got a couple of our dancers here at the moment, and we're all about ready to dance for a cause with uh, for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. And these dancers are going to go seriously all through the night with five minute increments of a break. And um, are you guys all ready to get started? Because we're still waiting on a couple of people here. Actually, there will be 30 couples that'll join us, but we've got to get this party started because we're going to be dancing for a very long time now. Alfarb, you're my dance partner. Are you ready? I am ready. If you, are you ready, Stephanie? I think I'm ready. Now, are you guys ready? Yeah. All right. So let's get this party started in three, two, one. Let's dance, guys. Now, okay, Al is my dance partner here. And Al, tell me a little bit more about the details of what's going on. Uh, well, we are raising money for the uh, Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I've been nominated for Man of the Year. Everybody, uh, all the couples have uh, each donated $25 uh, for the couple. And then you can actually donate right now. Go to the Houston Life website, the new 93Q website. You can uh, donate right there as we spin. <laughs> you can also see a live webcam of, uh, of all the action going on all through the night as long as you'd like. Okay, so I'm not the world's best dancer. And neither but am I. I'm going to just keep dancing here. And you know what? It's actually George Strait's birthday. Yeah. So we're playing some George Strait right now. And we'll twist and turn. And you can do any sort of dancing, you guys. So this is something where you just come out and have fun. As and as you, As long as you're moving. And you all know I'm not the best dancer, but I do love to dance. So while we're learning how to dance, I'm going to go over and talk to some of these couples and ask them, what the heck is their motivation for doing this? Because it's super cool. Can but I, I, it's a... Uh, you have to be together the whole time. Oh, yeah. Okay. We These are the rules. We've got to be together. So I'm going to start over here. Now, you guys, you're going to be dancing for a cause for 40 hours. Is that right? Correct. Correct. Okay. And what's your motivation to do this? To break the world record. Breaking the world record. Okay, cool. And if you get a break, are you going to save up your time and sleep, or are you planning on dancing through the whole night? Dancing through the whole night. Absolutely. Whoa, okay, so they're going to dance all through the whole night. Let's go and ask this couple here. Hey, excuse me, dancers. Now, <laughs> um, this is a really cool thing you're doing here. Tell me a little bit about your motivation behind dancing for 40 straight hours. Um, I think it's because we come here all the time and we love to dance. And it was like a challenge that we're 50 years old plus. We can do it. Anybody can do it. Did you hear that, you guys? If they can do it, anybody can do it. So that means we can do it too, right, Al? Too, so, okay, now I'm going to have to ask you, how, how are you going to go 40 hours just dancing, no sleeping, a little bit of food? What, how are you going to do that? If all the single mamas can do it, I can do it. <laughs> if y'all can do it, I can do it. All right, so anyone can do this. Now, you guys can actually do this um, virtually online if you don't want to get out here and do it. Al, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, you just go to, uh, like I said, the website, HoustonLife.tv, the new 93Q.com. There's a link. You can uh, just pay 25 bucks, and it all goes to a great cause of Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. All right, cool. So as people arrive and are joining us, what we're going to do is carry on dancing. We're going to have a great time. But you know what? I think we have to be back in the studio soon to see you guys. We're going to take a live shot of this. So we'll check in a little bit later. Jen and Derek, we're going to dance our way back to, I can't even twist and turn. This is going to be a disaster. Down I-10, back to you guys in the studio. And we'll be dancing on set soon with the magic of TV. Bye-bye. Wow, I'm impressed dancing and conducting interviews at the same time. Excuse me, dancers. <laughs> Excuse, me, <laughs> Excuse me, dancers. Wow, so they only have what, like 35 hours left? Just hit the uh, five hour mark. Just about, I think we're like 10 minutes away from hitting the five hour mark so of dancing. 35 you guys, after more hours. like five minutes of dancing and interviewing, I was tired. So <laughs> I can't believe they're still going. Well, and speaking of still going, I think we have a live webcam shot of the action still taking place on uh, on the dance floor. Oh, yeah, there this it is. is. Oh, look. 
Wow. Live right now, yeah, um, at the new 93Q.com, we have a uh, live webcam that's going to run continuously throughout the contest. Now, Al, what do they actually win when they hit their 40 hours? Who they win a trip to Las Vegas to see the King, George Strait, and it's his birthday today. Happy oh, birthday, that George. Is the King, George Strait in there, yes. That's a great prize. And, and you know what? They break, very, the, they break the world record. That yes. in and of itself is They're a very prize. motivated. So well, listen, that's Stephanie awesome. and Al, thank you so much again. Um, it, it is so cool and still a little bit strange, I think. Um, but good luck to all the couples who are trying to break that record. Of course, it is all for a great cause. Only about 35 more hours, as we mentioned. And as a reminder, if you would like to donate to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, we will have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv, or you can go to new93q.com. And coming up next, it's Thursday, Thursday. So what do Whiskey and Winston Churchill have in common? We'll find out next. <laughs>